Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Julia. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my desk setup because last week I gave my room a little bit of a makeover. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go check it out. I'll leave it in the description box below. Um, but anyways, I'll basically be showing you like how I've organized my desk layout and just some of the desk tools that I use to make sure that this is like a productive workspace. And if you're interested in any of the items that I mentioned in this video, I'll try and link the exact ones or similar items in the description box. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so first up what we have is the Linamon desk from Ikea. The main reason that I got this desk is because it is 72 inches long, which means that there is a lot of space. So this is really great for my working style personally, because when I do work, I like to make sure that my space around me is really clear just so then I don't get distracted too easily. And then also I have space for like spreading out any papers or notes that I have and I can like see everything at the same time. So the first thing that we have on the leftmost side of my desk is this clock that I got from Muji. It displays the time, the date, the temperature, as well as the room humidity. But I mostly just use it for checking the time because while I'm doing work, I like to put my phone away just because I'm easily distracted. But this helps me keep track of what time it is. Okay, so next up we have my laptop and the model that I'm using is the Lenovo Yoga C740. It's a Windows laptop. So really as an engineering student, I really have to recommend Windows laptop just because of how good they are with running applications like SolidWorks and MATLAB. Uh, so this one has 16 gigabytes and has the Intel Core i7. Personally, I really love this one just because the user interface is really nice. And some really great features about this particular model is that it has a privacy shutter right over here, which you can slide, which is really great for online school. And then also the keyboard lights up. So it has um, three different settings off, light, lighter on, and then also really bright on. So this is really great if you're doing work in the night. And then obviously my favorite feature of this laptop is that it can rotate 360 degrees. So you can use it as a tablet. So this is helpful if you like to take electronic notes or if you like to use your laptop as a book. Next up, we have this mouse that I just got from Staples. This is a pretty basic mouse. It has a right click, left click, and the scrolling thing in the middle. Um, I would really recommend getting a mouse just because I find that when you're using um, engineering applications or you're on Google Docs, it's much easier to use a mouse rather than using your touchpad. So next up, we have this lamp. It really only has one setting. So obviously it's just really nice to have a lamp since during the winter and during the night, it tends to get darker quickly. So it's just really great just to make sure you don't strain your eyes and so you can see what you're doing better. Okay, and now moving on, we have the Alex cabinet, which I also got from Ikea right beside my desk. So this cabinet has five different compartments. So it's really great for organization. And I'll be showing you guys what I keep in each of these cabinets. Okay, so first up, I'll be showing you guys what's in my top drawer. So the first thing that we have here are some calculators. So this is obviously an essential for anybody. If you're in work, college, or high school, you always have some basic arithmetic that you need to do. So it's really helpful to have a calculator here. Then next up, we have this compartment for miscellaneous items. So we have some erasers over here because obviously everybody makes mistakes so gotta have erasers mine are kind of bullied because sometimes i fiddle and i destroy my erasers and then next up we also have these things over here i forgot what they're called but basically you can hold like different stacks of paper together which is really helpful for like organizations and separating like assignments or like different topics in your classes then next up I also have this stapler. It was definitely something really helpful to have when you had to hand in assignments that were made up of multiple papers. And then in the fourth compartment over here, we have a USB, which is an essential for when you're on campus, just so then if you need to print something out at the library, you just store your document in the USB and then print it off at the library or in a classroom. And then also I have some lip balm over here. You guys have seen this before, Burt's Bees. Moving on, I have my wireless headphones and I love these ones so much because they're super comfortable to wear. I usually wear these to work out, 
um, but I also wear them while I study. And I would really recommend these ones because they're really comfortable around the ears. Um, you can wear them for a long time and it doesn't make your ears sore. Then also I have my wireless headphones. So the reason I still have these is because these ones connect to my computer. So personally, the writing items that I like to use the most are just some basic mechanical pencils. I just bought them in a pack, that's why I have so many. Along with mechanical pencils, we also have lead refills for when we run out of lead. And then I have a whole bunch of black pens because I tend to write in black pens the most, so these are the ones I get finish the most quickly. Then I also have some red pens and I love these ones just because I use these to like mark my assignments and like practice exams. And then finally we just have some colorful like highlighters and different colored pens that I like to use for color coding my notes. So next up in the second drawer, so the first thing that I have in my second drawer is my agenda. So this is an agenda that I got from Muji. It's really great and I've been using their agendas for about two or three years now. What I really like about these ones in particular is that it has monthly calendars, which is what I use just to note any major deadlines for school or for other applications and basically any events that are going on. Not that there are a lot of events with COVID. And then also their daily calendars or I guess weekly calendars are also really nice because it splits up the days into different hours. So this is really great for me because I like to use the time blocking method to plan out my days so I know when my classes are happening and what assignments I should be doing. Then the next notebook I have is just this basic notebook that I got from Staples. Uh, it says thoughts on it. Then next up over here is another notebook from Muji. And then other than my notebooks, we also have this container here, which is where I'm planning to put the lined paper for my classes. But I just haven't gotten to buying lined paper yet, so it is, it is empty as you can see. And then also, this is where I keep my glasses. So you guys have seen the other glasses that I've been wearing. Um, this is another pair of glasses that I have. So obviously, I just have my glasses case. Um, a glasses cleaner and my actual glasses because I'm super nearsighted. Next up, we have made it to the third drawer. So over here, I just have a pile of grid paper because I like to write some of my notes on grid paper. Then also over here, we have a hole puncher. So this is really helpful for if you print out PDFs or any sheets from class, you can hole punch them so then you can put them into your binder and keep things organized. Then also over here, I keep a tissue box um, for when I feel like crying in class. And then finally over here, this is just also where I keep my hand sanitizer. I got them from Bath and Body Works and I really love them so much. So you guys have seen the stress relief one. This is one of my favorite smells just because I think it's relaxing or maybe that's just a placebo effect, who knows. And then there's also the Honolulu sun, which I also like. It smells so fruity and kind of like, it's like a happy smell. Then finally we have my fourth drawer. So in here, there isn't that much. I basically just keep this filing thing over here, which is where I keep stuff to help me like manage my budget or like or keep my eye prescriptions organized for my glasses. And it's just like one of those organization systems for like things related to life. Okay, so finally we have the fifth drawer. So this is kind of just more of storage that I have for things related to my degree, which is engineering. So personally for me, this is where I keep my Arduino Uno. This is also where I keep like any sensors that I have. Then we also have some, I don't know if it's called gourmets or gourmets, but gourmets because you use them for building stuff. And then I also have like an abundance of wires i'm not going to take all of them out because it's already pretty disorganized and then we also have some pliers over here and then also aside from that container i also just keep any other things in here so like staple refills and then i also have these what do you call them reinforcement stickers over here so just anything that i don't use daily but i do need on the occasion okay and then now finally on the top of our drawer the first thing that i want to show you guys over here is my sticky note box so i have like a pack of bigger square sticky notes which i like to use for 
making like to-do lists and reminders. Then over here, I also have like these little page markers which is what I use to mark pages in my notebook and in my binder. Then we also have like a whole bunch of like miniature yellow sticky notes, which is also what I use to like note down pages in my binders, but then also if I like want to write a note beside the page. And then finally, I also have these miniature kind of like page markers, except they're opaque. So then you can actually like write more notes on them. So this is really great for labeling. And now finally, we have my organization system for school. So basically each class that I have has its own like kind of like compartment over here, as you can tell by the white box. Unfortunately, the boxes that I bought were too small, so the binders don't fit in it, which kind of makes me sad. But anyways, each class kind of has its own compartment over here. Just because of the new semester, I have each box labeled right now with which class it's supposed to represent. But as the semester goes on and I start to remember like the colors for each class, I'll take the sticky notes off. So basically each class has its own colored binder just because I've been color coding each of my classes since high school. So I find it really helpful for my memory. And then along with the binder, each class also has a notebook. So I usually buy 200 page notebooks, but I didn't finish all of them from last semester. So I just ripped out the pages that I had already used from last semester and kept the pages that I have not used yet. Uh, so each class has its own notebook and this is basically just what I use for scrap work, for doing assignments or for doing like practice tests. And then finally, each class also has a duotang. So the duotang is kind of unique to my note taking system because basically what I generally like to do is write my notes in like my binder and my notebook. And then throughout the semester, I'll condense them. So then all of my notes will just be in here. If you're more interested in what my note taking method looks like, I'll leave a link in the description box to this video so you guys can watch it after. So yeah, and if you guys are really interested in like the process of how I transform my space from how it was before to how it is now, make sure you check out last week's video. I'll leave it down in the description box below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.